Alright, welcome to another tutorial, and in this tutorial I'll explain to you guys how to create a pretty cool transition inside of Sony Figas. I will show you the effect right now. He double shots. And we go to the next clip. Alright, so I'll show that one more time. Alright, so how do I create this? Well, I'll delete this. And I've got two clips right here. The first one is the first clip, and the second one is the clip you want to transition to. So I'm going to import this first clip right here and import it another time uh, below. All right, so we got two copies. Then below that, I'm going to put the second clip you want to transition to. All right, and offset it. All right, so first we want to. Um, search for a point in your footage in your clip where you want the transition to start well he's double shotting right here and right here I'm go I want to I want it to start so I'm gonna select it press s and um, do the same for the clip below that and for the clip below that I'm gonna delete the right part and for the clip above the left part okay so it still continues, but uh, this more is better, I know. And what we're gonna do now is press the event pan crop, and this is where the actual ma masking appears. So at the first keyframe, make sure you are at the first keyframe. Select mask and enable that mask. And now I'm gonna zoom in here. So I can create a, a clear mask. Um, grab your grab your anchor creation tool and just um, yeah make a mask. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna feather it a bit. So something like this should fit. Make the mode negative, feather type both, and feather percent free. All right. So here comes the fun part. We're gonna connect all these parts to each other. Um, so with our um, normal edit tool, select it um, like this. Um, go to the next frame because we got we have to go frame by frame. So now we're just going to move the whole um, mask. Go to the next frame where it's offset it again. Move it again. Make sure all the points are selected. So this looks pretty good. offset it again and when you offset it it will automatically create a keyframe okay so right here this will be the last keyframe we create um, let's create a keyframe and delete this one and now just check if everything fits and I think this is, looks pretty good maybe I not it's pretty good alright so when you're done masking we're gonna close out this window and um, when it's set right you can see here when I go to preview full that um, lockout is visible alright so what we see here is the clip which is located here when I offset this it will change um, I mean preview auto um, I want to transition to like this the ending for my transition so right at this point I should be at the second clip already so I'm just gonna delete this and now I can just easily go to my last frame right here and zoom in or right here alright and zoom in there just zoom in here at the point and in my preview screen you can already see what's gonna happen I'm going really inside that zoom and there we're, there I am at the second clip. So now what we get is this. Zooms in there. Stays cool. And that's what I want. Now for the reddish cool effects. Um, we got this part. This is our transition part. And now we're just going to set our cursor right at the beginning. Go down. And press select the, the second clip layer. And press S to, to uh, split it then set it at the end and press S again 
Now on this little clip, we're going to put an effect called color balance, red midtones. I'm just gonna pump it up like real time, like 3,000. All right. So now what you can see in the preview window, um, it's turned red, and this is a pretty cool effect. When I zoom out, um, I I can show you this. Double shot turns red, zooms in there, and it's not red anymore because it's ended here. But all right, fuck my English. So let's do this again. Boom, double shots, zooms in there. Looks good. All right, so this is a pretty neat transition. Um, I can render this out in um, like crap quality, just to show you. All right, previewing it. Whoa, doesn't that look sexy? Do it again. All right, so that was about it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and check back later, crying studios.com.